going on guys, it's Brandon here and welcome back to a brand new rebuild here on the channel today We have a New York Knicks NBA 2K19 rebuild. I hope you guys are enjoying these videos If you are hit that like button subscri subscribe if you guys are new channel really appreciate it trying to get to 1,000 subscribers And like I said hit that like button kind of kind of helps my videos get shared through the YouTube uh, algorithm and whatnot so I really appreciate it if you guys hit that like button but anyways we are doing the New York Knicks rebuild here uh, obviously the Knicks go ahead and draft uh, RJ Barrett with the number three pick which we will sign him here in a second but here's the roster real quick uh, we've, we've got a lot of work to do we need to unload a lot of these contracts um, which I mean I honestly I don't think we have too much here uh, Kevin Knox who obviously we're keeping um, but yeah I think we're getting rid of every I think Pretty much, we have a ton of cap space where we can, I believe, sign two max contracts. Uh, I'm pretty sure maybe three, but I doubt it. Probably just two. Uh, so let's go ahead and sign uh, RJ Barrett. And then they also, I don't know if, okay, so I did the whole two rounds, but I don't know if he is actually a draft pick or if I had to replace him uh, with just a random name draft pick. Um, so I have no idea, but I'm going to go ahead and, ex you know what, you know what, I'm going to decline that. Just for the sake of this video, I'm just going to go ahead and sign RJ Barrett. Uh, so team options, we're going to go ahead and bring Dennis Smith back. Dotson, um, you know what, I'm going to bring, yeah, you know what, I'm going to bring all three of them back. Ooh, you know what, not this contract, no. no. No, 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 I'm not, I'm not bringing him back. Uh, yeah, I just feel like if we're going for max contracts here the best thing to do uh, i would actually like to bring back dotson because he can shoot so we'll, we'll just go ahead and do that okay so here in free agency obviously we're going to go after kevin durant and kyrie irving obviously there's there's rumors with those two teaming up in brooklyn or new york so we're going to try if not we have uh i believe the mavericks first round pick for next year and maybe the year after or the year after that um so we're going to be fine. We have RJ Barrett. We're going to get a top pick, possibly even two top picks next year. So we should be fine either way, but obviously we're going to try. Um, so let's see. View offers. Uh, Clippers, Sixers, and Warriors um, are all on there. So uh, what are they all offering? So they're all offering four years. Okay. I'm going to do the same. Um, and then I'm going to offer just a no trade clause uh, as well, uh, just to kind of sweeten it and see if he will be willing to take that uh it's all 100 but we're we're down so like oh man i don't think so i don't think he's gonna take it we're, we'll offer the same thing to Kyrie, but i don't think Kyrie is gonna even yeah wow i don't think we're gonna be able to get either of those guys okay so we have rj barrett and kevin knox we also have mitchell robinson dennis smith jr uh, i mean one, two, three, four. We need a power forward. We could use a center. I mean, if we don't get any, either of these guys, it might be just better to tank. Honestly, try and get as good of a pick. I'm curious, what picks... Does it say what picks we have? Yeah, view picks. Okay. So we have our own in 2020. Um, and then in 2021, we have the Mavericks and our own. Okay. And then in 2023, we have the Mavericks and our own. Okay. Um, man, this is, this is such a bummer, but yeah. Uh, I mean, could they get someone here? Should I go for like, I don't really want Tobias Harris. I don't really want any of these guys so can we get okay wow that sucks all right uh we're in full rebuild mode then here with the knicks which really sucks uh we could go after jimmy butler clay thompson no um we have rj baron kevin knox at two and three so we could go with like kemba walker at at point but if we tank, we could get Cole Anthony. And I think I'd rather do that. Um, or we could have Jaden McDaniels. But then we could put... I guess then we would need a four. Uh, we, no matter what, need a five. But honestly, I think I'm more willing to tank. So I'm just going to fill out the roster with decent pieces. And yeah. Um, 
screw it. I'm gonna offer you like a team option and I'm gonna offer, um, let's see, we need a power forward. We can go with like, uh, I don't wanna build too good of a team though. So let's kinda go with like, um, hmm, who's like someone decent, but maybe a little bit young. Or we can go with Marcus Morris. Uh, for him, like a two-year team option, and then go with like, uh, let's bring you want, uh, No, that's a lot of money. Let's uh, you know what? Let's just bring like Javel McGee to like a one-year or two-year deal team option. We'll do something like that. Uh, renounce all of these guys. Yeah, we're just gonna renounce, and we're just gonna roll with that, and see. We're we're just gonna build through the draft because we're not getting anyone, unfortunately. So let's look at the roster here. We have Dennis Smith as one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. All right, let's go ahead and grab um, a backup point guard, and then we should be good. So I'll see you guys at training camps. Okay, so here in uh, uh, training camps, we only have one um, thing to use. So we're just going to use it on RJ Barrett just in case. Um, I guess he was an A-plus already, but whatever. We're just going to use it because we only have one. And, uh, yeah, this is going to be rough, guys. Uh, God, we didn't set my rotation, but, like, this is brutal. Okay, so here's our rotations. We're going to go Dennis Smith, RJ Barrett, Kevin Knox, Marcus Morris, Mitchell Robinson, JJ Reg, Dotson, Trier, and McGee. Uh, yeah, that's going to be... That's gonna be the rotation. Um, yep, we're we're definitely hoping for a top three pick. That's for sure. I'm gonna make my first scoring option RJ Barrett, and then we're gonna go through RJ Barrett and Kevin Knox to see if we can get them to um, develop as much as we can. And let's see, anything better than a three? No. All right, we're we're just gonna do. Um, actually, we're gonna change it. We're gonna do. We're going to change it to pace, um, just to up the tempo and see if we can score a lot of points with RJ Barron and Kevin Knox. So we'll do that, and I'll see you guys after this season. This is going to be brutal. Okay, so we go 20 and 62. All right, mission accomplished. We tanked. Uh, James Harden wins MVP. John Morant wins Rookie of the Year. Um, and then D'Antoni wins Coach of the Year. All right. So I don't think we're going to get anyone here uh, on any of the all-NBA teams. Just saying. Uh, of course, Kevin Durant goes to the Clippers. <sighs> All right, that's depressing. All right, uh, and then let's see defense. We don't get anyone. All rookie first team. We are Jay Barrett, 17 points per game, 4.6 rebounds, 5.8 assists. All right, that's solid. He only shot 28% from three and 40% from the field. That's bad. Uh, that's that's really bad. Um, let's see. Anything else? No, that's it. Um, and all rookie second team. We don't get anyone. All right. Oh yeah, we only had one rookie. That's right. Okay. Uh, yeah, that's uh, this has been brutal. Let's go ahead and look at the team stats here, and then I'll go ahead and sim the playoffs. Um, so the rest of the team, Kevin Knox, 18 points per game, five rebounds, a couple assists, so that's pretty good. Uh, Dennis Smith Jr., 15 and 4.7. Mar Marcus Morris, 14 and 7. JJ Redick, 14 off the bench. Robinson, 7 and 11 um starting so yeah not uh, not great i'm curious though let's see how bad were we offensively the third worst and the second worst defensive team nice okay so the rockets ended up winning the finals um let's go ahead and get to league meetings here and just make sure nothing gets approved all right uh draft lottery um and then we don't have we just have our pick this year uh so we should have the we have the second best odds the grizzlies were really really bad um, all right, so here we go. Come on. Give me a good pick, please We got the third overall pick for the second straight year in a row The Bulls jump up to one All right, um, let's see. Let's look at the options here Lamella ball Anthony Edwards Cole Anthony James Wiseman Scotty Lewis. I mean, it's a decent draft um Vernon Carey, I don't know. I don't know what I would go with here. James Wiseman is tempting. We do need a, we really do need a point guard though. So I think Cole Anthony would be the pick. Um, let's see, anyone else? Uh, I mean, I see, will we get Cole Anthony though at three? Or will he go, let's see, prospect scouting. 
Um, he's a 78 in this. Hmm. Uh, Anthony Edwards, but see, we are, we don't need another two. Uh, we got to We got to try and get Cole Anthony. I really hope. If not, we might just try and trade after. Um, but I'm not willing to trade up because I don't. I just. I don't want to. Yeah, I don't want to trade up. So, uh, we're gonna go ahead and fire Fizdell, um, and then fire you, and fire you. Okay. So starting fresh, we got 14 million dollars though. So Jacob Underwood, um, uh, but he's more defense. Peterson, Rowe. Rowe is actually pretty good. Um, A minus B plus. A plus B with an A minus, but let's see, uh, honestly, I think I'm going to go with Barney Rowe here. Um, and then we're, we're just going to offer him that much. Uh, and then assistant coach, let's go with, uh, Steven Dawkins. All right. And assistant GM, we will go with, uh, Truman. Um, and let's see let's grab a trainer uh you should do and what else do we need sign 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 row is still mulling offer and we can get him all right cfo let's just go ahead and grab malone here and we need a decent head scout um let's just go with him okay cool so we filled those all those positions let's go to the draft and honestly I'm just going to stay at three. Hope that Cole Anthony drops. If not, LaMelo Ball is not a bad option, but I might trade whoever I draft for uh, Cole Anthony if he gets picked um, ahead of where I want. So, Anthony Edwards goes number one. Okay. Please take... Okay, James Wiseman went number two. I was actually thinking about going after James Wiseman, but he goes number two. So, we are going to go with Cole Anthony. All right, boom. And draft Cole Anthony, and we should be all good. Okay, so we're going to go ahead and obviously accept Cole Anthony. And then we drafted uh, Jalen Smith. Um, so we're going to go ahead and accept him. We're going to throw him in the G League probably. Uh, and then we're going to go ahead and accept. Do we want to accept Dennis Smith and just keep him on the bench and have him? Yeah, we'll do that. We can do that. Um, and then we'll let everyone else go uh, for sure. So, boom, we'll do that. Um, Anthony Davis declines. You know what? Because we missed out on Kevin Durant. Uh, should we go after... I'm not going to offer Dotson. Um, do we go after Anthony Davis since we lost out on him? Uh, ooh, you know what? We could go after Al Horford. Um, let's see. Let's look at our team real quick. Uh, so we got Cole Anthony and Dennis Smith. So we're good at point. Uh, we need... We got RJ Barrett, Kevin Knox. So we need a wing guy to come off the bench for them. Uh, and then we do need a power forward. And we need... I mean, we could we could keep Mitchell Robinson, I guess. We need a scoring power forward, though. Um, so we could get we could try and go for Anthony Davis. Uh, I mean, it's worth a shot. I don't I don't think we're gonna get him, but it's worth a shot. Yeah, Lakers will look like looks like we'll get him. Um, all right, let's go after uh, two way star in Horford, or do we go with like? I want more of a scoring power forward, but it's not really an option here. Um, you know what? We could offer Pascal and see if uh, uh, we'll do a player option and see if Toronto matches. And then who can we could put Harrow at the four? That would work. Um, or we could put Al Horford at the four. How did he do last year? Ooh, not good. Okay. Um, you know what? We have money. Uh, but see, I'd rather keep my money for next year. That's the thing. Uh, okay. Who could we go for then? Let's see. Power forwards. Uh, oh, you know what? Vanderbilt would be nice. But again, it's another defensive guy. I don't want... I want more defensive guys. You know what? I might just bring... I'm going to bring Dario Sar Sarge, actually. Um, and then we're going to do the same thing. Team option. We're going to pay him a little bit extra so he takes it. And we're good with that. So we'll do that. Um, and then we're going to go ahead and release. Release. 
uh, or renounce, I mean, renounce. Yeah, we're gonna renounce everything here. And we did not get, obviously, Siakam stayed with Toronto. Anthony Davis stays with Los Angeles. Um, so we will take Saric and we need, let's see, what do we, now what do we need? Um, one, two, three, four, five, six. Okay, so we need a backup, um, small forward, or a shooting guard, small forward, and center. Okay. Okay, so here in training camps, um, I went ahead and signed Saric. Uh, I actually went ahead and got Justin Jackson, um, Kaminsky, and JJ Redick. Um, so it's decent. Um, I'm going to give, let's see, RJ Barrett should be already at A+. Plus. I'm going to give Kevin Knox, untapped potential, Cole Anthony, and Mitchell Robinson. I uh, will all get untapped potential. So there you go. And I'll see you guys for, oh, Cole Anthony is already at A+. Plus. All right. Uh, I'll see you guys uh, when I get my rotations figured out. Okay, so here's the rotation. Cole Anthony and RJ Barrett both get 36. Kevin Knox, I'll give 34. 30 to Sarge. 32 to Robinson, 22 to Dennis Smith, Justin Jackson with 18, 16 for Kaminsky, and 14 for Redick. Um, uh, oh, wait. Oh, you know what? I actually have two extra minutes. I'm going to give that to Robinson. Okay. And then first scoring option, I'm going to give it to RJ Barrett. Uh, and then we'll go with... Um, we'll, we'll do no preference after that. So I'm good with that. And uh, system proficiency... Let's see. Uh, do we have anything above a three? No, we don't. Okay, so I'm just going to go with balance, and we should be all good to go. I'll see you guys at the end of Season 2, where uh, hopefully we get good picks. Okay, so we win six more games than last year. Not good. Uh, Anthony Edwards ends up winning Rookie of the Year, not Cole Anthony, uh, which sucks. Um, David Johnson wins, wins Coach of the Year. So uh, I doubt we get anyone here on this list. Um, nope, nope. Pretty much uh, no Zion Williamson gets on on May third team, and that's about it. Uh, all rookie first team. We did get Cole Anthony though. 18 points per game, five assists. I would gladly take that. 44% from the field, 33 from three. Uh, so he can he can definitely improve. But I I like that pick. I feel like he should have won Rookie of the Year. Not gonna lie. Um, and then let's see how did Lamelo Ball do? 18 and five. Okay. And then Anthony Edwards 17 five and three. So, eh. All right, well, obviously we don't make the playoffs. Um, let's go ahead and look at our player stats and see who we kind of want to keep around and who we like a lot. RJ Barrett, 19, uh, 7 assists, 5 rebounds. Kevin Knox also had 19 points per game. So look, these three are going to continue to get better, and that's amazing. So we're going to build just around these three. We need a power forward and a center. Uh, or, well, I guess just a power forward. Uh, Mitchell Robinson, 6.5 points per game, 10 rebounds. Okay, yeah, we. I think we should look for a center as well. So, uh, let's see. Team op or team stats here. We were third worst in points per game and worst in allowed points per game. So, yeah, not good. Nuggets win the finals. Uh, 23 points per game, 12 rebounds, 8 assists for Nikola Jokic as he wins MVP. So, all right, this is a big offseason because our roster is like, looking actually decent. Um, it's, you know, for the first time looking like it could win more than 30 games um so into the draft lottery let's see uh what options we have here uh we have the third and the ninth from dallas so not bad uh i will take that if we can get top three that would be amazing come on okay we got third all right and the uh, where oh wait the dallas one got third and then we got fifth whoa Okay, I I will take the Dallas pick. Got third. Holy moly, that's a big jump. All right, um, we should be good on all all of that. I'm gonna go ahead and decline and get to the NBA draft. Wow. All right, so now we can add two really good players here. Uh, honestly, adding a four and a five uh, would be great. So let's look at the mock draft here real quick. Um, Isaiah Todd would be great, but wow, we we would have to move up. We would have to move up to get him. Um, KJ Martin, Evan Mobley, Hunter Dickerson. Okay, let's look at the uh, scouting here. Wow, Jalen Green is so good. Holy moly. I mean, what if we did... Okay, what if we traded up to try and get one using that fifth pick? And then whichever one we don't get, we'll grab the other out of Isaiah Todd and Evan Mobley. That could work, but we got to try and get that first pick. Who has the first pick? Indiana. Okay. 
Let's see if we can get that first pick. Okay, so I'm gonna go ahead and offer those for now. And then who, I already forgot who had the first pick. Um, okay, Indiana. All right, so what if I gave up my pick in 2023 because I have the Dallas pick too? So what if we did this unprotected? Would you take that? No, okay. Um, what if we just added a bunch of seconds? Would you take that? Uh, hmm. Um, can we add one more second? No. Okay. Let's try something. Let's, let's see. What players could we offer? Uh, Dennis Smith, we can't. He's on expiring contract. Yeah, we don't really have much to offer. Oh, we would have to give up our first round pick next year. Do we do that? How good of a pick is that? Hmm. Honestly, I feel like it's worth it. Let's offer it. And offer all the seconds and see. Okay, we got it. Okay. Okay. So we got first and three. For the first pick and the third pick. First and three. First and first pick and the third pick. So let's go into NBA draft. Um and I'm gonna get Jalen Green. Uh, how tall is Evan Mobley? He's seven feet tall. Todd is six. Okay. So I'm going to get Jalen Green with the first overall pick. And we're going to put him at the two. And then we're going to put RJ Bear at the three. And then we're going to put... Uh, okay. Oh, BJ Boston just went. Whoa. Okay. We're going to grab Isaiah Todd. And then we'll keep Mitchell Robinson. Uh, rebound special, low post star. Uh, who's better offensively? C plus, C plus. They're both the same. Okay. Well, power forward makes more sense. So we'll go with Isaiah Todd there. And uh, that will end our draft. So honestly, looking good. I'm liking it. I'm liking the slow, really, really slow rebuild. But it's, it's actually really fun. So we're going to go ahead and accept those two. Um, and then we're going to go ahead and decline all of those. We're going to keep Mitchell Robinson, Knox, and Barrett. And we're going to decline uh, 76. You know what? I'm going to keep Jalen Smith. Oh, you know what? I forgot to put him in the G League. I totally forgot about that. Um, and then we're going to decline everyone else. So there we go. Let's get to free agency. Let's see what we need, actually, real quick. So we have... Wow, Dennis Smith is at 84 overall. Um, Cole Anthony. So one, two, three, four, five. Um, and then six, seven eight okay so honestly we just need one more spot so let's look at free agency here qualifying offers Ooh, you know what we're gonna offer dennis smith one and then let's see what can we do in free agency restricted restricted um honestly there's not much so yeah let's look at the roster okay so here in training camps let's go ahead and uh, we'll give Kevin Knox untap potential. Um, and then let's see. Uh, I think, uh, you know what? Let's give Mitchell Robinson untap potential as well. And then I'm going to do perimeter shooting to Cole Anthony. Um, yeah, I'm going to give Cole Anthony perimeter shooting because his percentages were pretty low last season. So I want him to, uh, get better with that. So. There you go. Um, and then we need to set our rotations as well with Jalen Green uh, as a starting two guard. Okay, so here's the rotation. We're going to do something very different here. So we're giving 34 to uh, all of the, all of these starters except for Robinson. He's going to get 32. Kevin Knox will also get 32 off the bench. And then Dennis Smith Jr., 16 off the bench, um, 14, and then 10 to Smith. So the reason why we're, we're going to put Knox on the bench is because... He comes in, he scores, and he scores well, but and he gets about six rebounds and two assists. Whereas I'm starting to RJ Barrett instead because he's better all around, and so is Jalen Green. Um, and you know, Isaiah Todd, I'm gonna I'm gonna trust in that he he's pretty good. I mean, I could put I could switch these two. Um, but I'd rather have the scoring coming off the bench with Kevin Knox. So I think I'm gonna go with that. Um, and then let's see. Uh, as far as scoring goes, I'm gonna I'm going to actually leave it to no preference because I feel like Jalen Green is going to come in and be really good. And, oh, we got a three and a half here. Seven seconds. You know what? All right, let's do it. 
let's go with that. And um, I'll see you guys at the end of the season. Okay, we go 53 and 29 with this young, young team. Russell Westbrook wins MVP. Jalen Green wins Rookie of the Year, averaging 22 points per game, three rebounds, six assists. That was, I'm so glad I made that move. I'm so glad I made that move. Holy moly. All right. And then Sherman wins coach of the year with 60 wins. So uh, no one on all NBA first team um, and then no one on second team. And then we got RJ Barrett on all NBA third team. 19 points per game. Uh, eight assists. 5.7 rebounds. Nice. Love it. Love to see it. Um, I've, why is there a year missing? Like the 1920 season is missing on RJ Barrett. Which is weird because I know he played it. Um, okay. All defensive first team, we didn't get anyone, and we didn't get anyone on the all second team. But Isaiah Todd as well, 15.7.7 .7 rebounds, 4.6 assists. That's amazing. 1.3 steals and 1.1 blocks. Shooting 57% from the field and 30 from three. I will gladly take that. That's perfect to go along with Mitchell Robinson, I feel like. So let's look at the player stats. We won 53 games, man. That's amazing. 22 game, 19 a game for RJ Barrett. Cole Anthony, 19 a game, six assists. Uh, 18 a game for Kevin Knox off the bench. Love it. Todd with 15 and 7. Dennis Smith off the bench with 10 and 3. Mitchell Robinson 7.6, 9.7 rebounds, 1.9 blocks. So he's doing it defensively. Um, and then Todd is doing off uh, offensively, which is great. So team stats, uh, points per game, we were first. Wow. Uh, that's a big jump. And then we were the fifth best defensive team. Um, oh, wait. Fifth worst. Okay. We need to get better defensively got it um that's why okay okay we need to get better defensively so let's go ahead and go game by game here let's see who charlotte has though um they have rj hampton jeremy land miles bridges pj washington tyler davis spencer dinwiddie off the bench vanderbilt and trey jones off the bench so they got a decent team not bad uh but they are the seventh seed and we okay we lose game one or game two i mean uh they had a losing record 39 and 43 and they're now up two to one on me and they had a losing record on the okay okay i young team young team they're they're still trying to learn how to win in the playoffs you know please don't get eliminated oh you've got to be kidding me man oh my god no okay so the rockets win the finals james harden wins mvp and uh, they beat the Hawks, by the way. So, uh, all right. I can't believe we lost in the first round. So, Jeff Lottery here. I don't think we have any picks in here. No. Um, yeah, no. So, we don't have anything to worry about here. The Bulls get the number one pick. And I'm just going to bring the same team back because they, they are really, really good. Um, so, we do need a new assistant GM, though. So, I'm going to bring in Aaron Phillips um, to run the team and let's see how well what if we brought in like a really good head coach instead of Roe? what if we let Roe go like he was like the development coach you know and like how much money do we have we have 11 mil you know what screw it let's go after um let's go after steve kerr we're going to offer Steve Kerr $10 million to come coach the New York Knicks. Um, okay, so Phillips declined. Uh, so we need a different GM here. Let's just grab... Uh, hmm, I really want you, though. I'm going to offer you... No, I don't have that much money. Okay. Uh, shoot. Let's go ahead and go with more than... All right. And then we should be good. All right. We win Steve Kerr. Let's uh, hope that that makes all the difference. Okay, so we go 58 and 24. RJ Barrett wins MVP, 22 points per game, 5.5 rebounds, 9 assists, 2 steals, 50% from the field, 88% from the free throw line, 37% from 3. Uh, that's, that's awesome. That's what we needed. This is it. Like this and coach of the year is Steve Kerr. So if, if there's any time, this is the time to uh for us to win the championship here so do we get anyone else on all nba no we did not okay defensive uh we did not okay and we don't have any rookies so i'm curious to see how like jalen green did and kevin knox coming off the bench I, pretty much i ran the same roster by the way uh so cole anthony 21.7 5.7 assists uh jalen green 21 wow we had three guys going 20 or more 
Wow. Kevin Knox, 17 a game, 4 rebounds off the bench. Isaiah Todd, 14 and a half and 9 rebounds, 5 assists. Look at the assist, man. That's amazing. Uh, Dennis Smith, 9 points, 7.7 .7 and 10 rebounds for Mitchell Robinson. Uh, Myers Leonard, um, Jalen Smith kind of came off the bench, but... All right, let's see. Did our defense improve? Uh, we averaged 120 points per game, and our defense was better. It was 18, so wait, 12th, I believe. Yeah, 12th. Not bad. Not bad. I'll, I'll take that. Um, actually, what's the point differential then? Uh, first at 8.8. .8. So here we go. Utah's the number one seed, and uh, we're the number one seed as well, and Atlanta is the number two seed. Okay, okay, this is our chance. This is our chance to win a championship here. We have Steve Kerr, one of the better head coaches in the league. Uh, we have our MVP. We have three guys who average 20 plus points per game. Like, we've got to do it. We've got to do it this year. Like, this has to be it. This is the last season I'm playing, by the way. So, hopefully, like, we lost out on Kevin Durant, Kyrie Irving in the first offseason. We had to tank and we had to just build through the draft and. We're, we, I mean, we got up to 58 wins. So can we finish it off with the championship? We will see. We're up 2-1 over Brooklyn and up 3-1. All right. Atlanta's already in the Eastern Conference Finals and we won in five. So Atlanta's tough. Atlanta's tough. That's the other rebuild I did. Um, and like I said, uh, they are extremely scary. Um, let's see who comes out of the West. Utah lost um, and it's Houston again. Houston is ridiculous. I feel like they've been there like three straight years. Um, so let's see. Atlanta has Trey Young, Nico Mannion, DeAndre Hunter, John Collins, and Nafali Dante. He's pretty good. Uh, Sabonis, uh, Scotty Lewis is on, on the bench. Uh, Vince Hunter and Kevin Huter. Wow. Wow. Uh, do they even have... They don't even have um, Cameron Reddish. Wow. Okay, this is gonna be this is gonna be such a tough series. We lose game one. Uh, don't go down 2-0. Oh, no, Atlanta's too freaking strong. Okay, we win game three. All right, we're gonna do the simcast here from here on out. Okay, so getting into game four here in the simcast. Uh, we are down by seven, down by four, down by one. All right, we're up by five. Okay, can we tie this thing up? Tie the series at two. Boom, we're gonna tie the series at two. We win by 12. All right, two to two. Here we go. We're gonna do another simcast here. We're at home. The Clippers are up 3 1 over Houston, trying to end their streak of making it to the finals. And we are up by nine, and we're gonna win. Ooh, yeah, we're gonna win game five. Okay, can we finish this thing in six and not have to worry about game seven? Houston wins game five, by the way. So they're trying to force. A game six now and try and come back from three one and we're gonna win and advance to the nba finals we beat atlanta and here we go uh who will we have to face off against the clippers win in seven okay who is on the oh, you know what kevin durant wow it all comes full circle kevin durant chose the clippers over the knicks they have shy alexander norvell katie kj martin evan mobley montrez harrell Whoa, this is a deep team. Holy moly, that's a good team. All right, they're they're scary, but they were the four seed in the West. So it's a good sign. We have home court advantage, and we won 10 more games in the regular season. So we lose game one. Classic. All right, we win game two. And okay, we lose game three. Okay, so here in the same cast for game four, can we win game four? Tie it at two. Uh, looks like we are. Wow, we're blowing them out. Yeah, we blew him out. Okay, that was easy. Whew. All right, game five. Here we go. We're just going to do the SimCast for the rest of the series. So we're at home. We should be able... Certain features... Okay, that's bizarre. Uh, we're down by two, up by one, down by five, up by one. This is scary. Um, all right, let's slow this down here. Um, okay, up by three, up by five up by six and we win by seven okay that's a big one uh Jalen green with 24 todd with 22 and 8 rj bear with 18 7 and 8 so there you go we are up three to two in the series on the road now in la can we beat the clippers and win the nba finals 
Holy moly. Oh my god, we're gonna do it. Wow. 143 to 101. 150! We put up 150 in game six in LA to beat Kevin Durant, who picked the Clippers over us. And ultimately, RJ Barrett, 37 points and nine rebounds, 17 assists, four steals. Isaiah Todd, 12, or 31, 12, and 6. Cole Anthony, 21, 4, and 5, two steals. Jalen Green, 17, and 6. Wow. And RJ Barrett better be finals MVP with that performance. That is nuts. 37, 9, and 17. Holy moly. We did it. RJ Barrett, finals MVP, 23.3 points per game, six rebounds, 11.5 assists, 2.3 steals. Uh, he didn't really shoot the ball well, but man, he scored like crazy. There you go. There's a championship with the New York Knicks. We did it the long route. We couldn't get Kevin Durant or Kyrie Irving. We went with tanking, getting draft picks, getting lucky, by the way. We got lucky with that, getting the Dallas pick to go up to three. So we had three and five, and we traded it from five to one. Um, that was insane. And, uh, yeah, we did it. And that was uh, that was the key, man. Whew, I'm, I'm so happy about this. I'm so happy. Okay. Hope you guys enjoyed. If you did, hit that like button. Subscribe if you guys are new to the channel. And uh, let me know what you guys think. Um, will the Knicks lose out on Kevin Durant and Kyrie Irving? Or uh, will they get them? I don't know. We'll see. If they do get them, I will do a rebuild with them getting Kevin Durant and Kyrie Irving. If you guys want to see that, let me know. Hit that like button. Subscribe if you guys are new to the channel. I'd really appreciate it. I'm trying to hit 1,000 subscribers. And I'll see you guys in the next video. Later, guys.